ask you this: when when you when you drew out that uh, the facial outline right there, what are you using to cite to make sure that it's you know even though it's exaggerated? That cheekbone right there. The cheekbone. Yeah, that cheekbone, which is predominant here. Okay? Like like are you yeah. are you uh, like for example, are you uh, like measuring? How wide the nose is to yes. the, the side of the face. Yeah. So are you doing that internally inside your head? Yeah, it's, it's a subconscious thing. It's a subconscious you learn, thing? you learn it, and the subconscious comes back and helps okay. you on that. It's a complete subconscious, subliminal. Uh, uh, so now, thinking. so for yeah. someone that's starting out in, in manga or, or anime oh, for the okay. first time, yeah. like what, what should they be looking at, or what should they be considering while they do that? Okay, the head is not a flat object. The head okay. is a globe, like yeah. the Earth's globe, okay? Yeah. You have to think of it, because there's this huge cranium behind that head, yeah. okay? And then you have this area that's a jaw connected to it. So think of a, a basketball, yeah. but this large, like, Andes mountain area that's on one side, okay. okay? Then you have those ears, okay? Yeah. Ears are never flattering. Okay. Yeah. They are, you know, some kind of odd, weird thing that designed to cool, keep the head cool. All right. Yeah. But they, you want to make dainty ears, you know, like that. So you know? minimize the nose. Minim minimize the, everything. The ears. Everything that is like the most unattractive, that's traditional and and also innately known, yeah. is minimized. But there are some people you draw. They just they just come to you as a, as a caricaturist dream. Yeah. Okay. Or a caricaturist nightmare. Yeah. And I would say that what I do. To get that, you get that nose, and then you draw a little equator right across the bridge. Yeah. Okay. And then one that goes right from the top, the the lat longitude. Okay. Okay. And that tells you where the eyes go, because the eyes and the top, the eyes and the top of the ear. Yeah. Are even. Okay. Yeah. When you draw the eye, one eye should not be the same size as the other, because you're looking on a curved object. Yeah. When you on a curved object like a globe, like the earth, like a like a globe yeah. of the earth or anything else that's a planet, okay? All right, and you turn it, okay? Yeah. The position and shape of Ohio or yeah. Florida is going to change, okay? And especially that nose, okay? Now, I'm doing a one-off, and most of the stuff that I'm drawing for people is never going to be animated. But I try to draw as if it were. All right. Yeah. So now we have this typical face. All right. And then we got the eyebrows. That kind of goes like that. Is there any uh, tips that you want to uh, provide to you know beginning uh, anime artists about the eyebrows or the eyelashes? No, the eyebrows are rather minimized too. But I've noticed that in some anime drawings and things like that, they'll draw lots of hair that cover the eye and stuff yeah. like that. In this case, we like that, and they draw the eyebrow right on top of it because eventually that eyebrow is going to move to show yeah. expression, and you can see the eyebrow right through the hair. Okay. But normally you can't. So they they, they cheat a little. Okay. They do a lot. In fact, all animation and design animation design is cheating. Okay, right. so now whenever you talk about minimizing the nose and the ears and stuff like that, what areas do you try to maximize or, or exaggerate? I, 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 or does, I, is it called I, exaggerating I'm, or maximizing? I minimize the no, the bridge of the nose as much as possible. Okay. Okay. In fact, what I would really like is to have no bridge at all. But okay. some people find that odd. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then, of course, the, the side nostrils are always tired because as the face moves, the yeah. shading, all right, if you ever want to do shading on these things, yeah. it'll alter that position because basically what you got is a big jaw. I mean, look at Pinocchio. A good example would be Pinocchio. Okay, uh, would it be possible for you to, like, face towards the camera there? Oh, yeah, I'm that, sorry. No, yeah. no, that, no, no, that way the, there's a shadow on the face that you're drawing with your right hand. Oh, I'm sorry. But yeah, so if you kind of, like, turn your seat this way just a little bit. Like this? Yeah, yeah. To, this yeah, way. This yeah, to face, face the camera that way. Oh, sure. Yeah. All right. Okay, yeah, that way there's less of a shadow so that people can see it easier. All right, well, anyway. Now, this, this particular picture I'm showing, I'm getting, I'm almost cheating a bit uh, okay. away from in the anime style. I'm giving her lips, all right? Okay. And uh, sometimes I'll suggest the lips. Now, I've noticed in anime, yeah. lips on a female character are minimized. Basically, they don't have any lipstick. And if they do have lipstick or full lips, it usually means that the character is over 30. Okay. All right? More A more mature person. So my wife is in her, uh, like, mid-20s? Late 20s? Yeah. So and if, if I drew her in a true anime style, she'd, yeah. look, she'd look 12. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, 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 don't, we don't want that because I don't want people to think... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I'm 
really kind of cheating a bit because I want to try and make something that the, that somebody wants at the end of the day, yeah. but I say has a kind of a, an anime influence. But at the same time, in no way is it a traditional caricature. Okay. That is always a grotesque. Because the, the the definition of caricature is a grotesque parody yeah. of reality. Okay. okay. Anime is different. Anime over romanticizes. They even do that could with you, a man. Could you elaborate uh, on what you consider um, um, what what you consider over romanticize versus exaggerate? Oh, good, good. Because it the, sounds the, like it means two different things. The way you're saying it. Yeah, you know, when you exaggerate, I can like like make the nose long and stuff like and 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 uh, make gopher cheeks. A lot of a lot of drawings of children they have these giant gopher cheeks that come out because when they smile, the cheeks come out and they exaggerate that. Yeah. All right. But romanticizing is the opposite. I'm making I'm making a person that looks good like uh, the statue of David okay. is an overly romanticized version of the male nude okay, okay. Yeah. and he's basically a god okay yeah. you know he's got perfect he's got his his all his arms and limbs and torso and head it's are too perfect. perfect they're too perfect exactly yeah. okay um, another version would be the way women are depicted in in movies and and magazines you know they get the supermodels and they get these perfect women that don't really reflect the majority of the human race but still they sell clothes all right yeah you know the idea is to sell clothes 